Good afternoon. Welcome to the 61st annual Bucknell Athletic Senior Awards Dinner. This is a special afternoon because we haven't had the opportunity to convene like this in the past two years. So we're excited to have you guys all in the same room tonight and just to pay a tribute to the class of 2022 and all that they have done while members of Bucknell's athletics program here for the Bison. My name is Todd Newcomb. I'm the Senior Associate Director of Athletics. It's my pleasure to welcome you all tonight. There are some special guests I'd like to introduce, and after I do that, we're gonna get right to the food. So, from the campus community, as I mentioned your name, please stand to be recognized. Associate Dean of Students, Jane Grassadonia. Associate Provost, Joe Tranquillo. Interim Dean of the College of Engineering, Aaron Jablonski. And Associate Professor of Chemical Engineering and a member of the Committee on Athletics, Kenny Miner. For the student athletes in the room, hopefully this is not the first time you're gonna meet some of these people I'm gonna to introduce to you now, but they're members of our senior administrative staff and they're the team behind the scenes that really work hard to, to make uh, the experience you've had here a special one. So as I call out our senior staff, please stand. From the class of 1991, our Deputy Director of Athletics, Tim Pavlechko. <laughs> senior Associate Athletic Director for Student Athlete Enhancement and our SWA, Jen Cantera, in the back of the room. Senior Associate Athletic Director for Revenue Generation and Strategic Advancement, that's a mouthful, Joel Morsch. <laughs> Associate Athletic Director for NCAA Compliance and Student Services, Dan Isif. <laughs> Associate Athletic Director for Business and Team Services, Terry Grebe. <laughs> Associate Athletic Director for Athletic Communications from the class of 1993, John Terry. And now, to offer you a few remarks, please welcome Bucknell's Director of Athletics and Recreation, Jermaine Truex. Well, well, I'll be brief, actually, because I've learned a long time ago not to stand in front of people and their food. So, welcome to all of you. I just want to reiterate, it's so good to see you all in, in person. been far too long since we've been able to do this. Obviously, COVID has impacted so many things and so many people in different ways. So hopefully you and your families are, are all doing well. We also know COVID has impacted our student athletes in unique ways. They're one of few, as you know, that can compete in college athletics at any level, but in particular division one. And we put a lot on them to be able to compete. And they all know the, the severe, maybe strict is a better word, yet important mitigation strategies that we put on them to, to compete. Obviously we had teams testing regularly. We had teams quarantined for weeks at a time. We had multiple things. We took away championships. We shortened seasons. We took away opportunities. But you endured a lot, and I know for sure that because you've pers uh, persevered through it all, you'll be far better for it, far more prepared for life. Once you leave these Bucknell walls, uh, you'll be ready for it. And we know that because of all you've gone through. So appreciate it. I know it was difficult. I won't ask you, but I know for sure that if I did, if you had the opportunity to do it all over again with all that we put on you, I know you would, because that's the type of student athletes that we have, that's the type of student athletes you, you are, and you're gonna leave here much better because of it. So, so we thank you, so on behalf of all of us, we appreciate it. Now, you're leaving and we're gonna celebrate your moments, but I'd be remiss to say, coming on the heels of our one heard one day, our day of giving, where we set a, another record, $1.2 million. Those are folks who have went through the same experience that you all have and who have given back to help support your experience. We know you're all young, but we will be knocking on your doors at some point to give back to the future generation of Bison athletes. So for now, make sure you stay in contact with your teammates, your coaches, and certainly the, the university. So without further ado, we'll get the program started. Go Bison. Thank you, Jermaine. Two final introductions before we eat. First, they're not all here, but there are a number of Bucknell senior parents here. Would you guys please stand and be recognized? Bucknell parents that are here. And finally, the guest of honor tonight, all the senior student athletes, stand up. Let's give you guys all a big round of applause. All right, 
it's time to enjoy your meal. A member of the dining services team will come tap at your table for the buffet. And during the meal, please enjoy the slideshow that we'll have going on the screens, okay? We'll get back to you after we eat. Enjoy. Please continue to enjoy your meal, but we're gonna start the program. Um, so I just wanna talk a little bit about tonight's award process. So our, our seniors, we give out 11 awards and there's a male and female recipient for each award. The way the process works, our coaches nominate seniors that they believe are worthy of those awards. Then that uh, group of senior student athletes is put on a ballot and John Terry's athletic communication staff puts together a pretty comprehensive document with all the achievements that you all have had as a, as a senior student athlete. And then we have a senior selection uh, awards committee, seven members that select the award winners for the year. Um, what I'd like to do is show you a video uh, where we actually presented some of these awards ahead of time. So some of you in the audience already, already received your award. They went out on social media today. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see that, but please turn your attention to the video to screen to see what we've already done. What's up, Bison Nation? It's one of our favorite times of year around here, Spring Senior Awards. My name is Jen Quintera. I'm our Senior Associate AD for Student Athlete Enrichment and Senior Woman Administrator. Really excited. We're gonna go kick off our first award by surprising Taylor O'Brien with the Bradley Tufts Award. Um, looking forward to presenting her to this great achievement she's done both on and off the court. Well, hello. How are we doing? I'm super excited to be here. You guys don't know, but usually in the spring we do our senior awards and we are very excited to present to Taylor our Bradley Tufts Award, which really talks a lot about all the things that she did on the court, off the court, the great contributions that she's made to this team and to the department over her four years here. Yes, so we are you. very proud to present this to you.
and you'll get to see this at our senior awards presentation. Bradley N. Telps Award for exceptional athletic contribution to Bucknell Athletics and for being a true scholar student athlete for us here at Bucknell. This year's winner of Tufts Award, the 24, Chris Casanero.
do today. But I think, you know, sometimes it's good to celebrate some things about ourselves and guys around in this team. So, uh, one thing, just one second, fellas, uh, let you know. Here at Bucknell, we celebrate our seniors in, in so many different ways. We have a senior awards banquet that we recognize the best and brightest of our, of our seniors. And that's coming up. But I always like to kind of give it a little bit of, you know, beforehand, give a couple awards around so guys know how much we appreciate what they do for Bison Athletics. So I'm here today to present the 2022 Lee S. Bud Rank Memorial Award, which goes to outstanding contributions to the Bucknell Athletics Program, to this campus, and having a spirit that's a bison beyond all belief. It is my pleasure to give it to Nick Carvada. <laughs> Wilson. I'm the new Senior Associate Athletic Director, and I am the Sports Supervisor for Men's Soccer. Yay. Yes! <laughs> so yes, I'm his boss. Um, I'm happy to join you guys' team. So you know who I am. If you see me, say hello. Um, but I am here today for some special business. So um, Patrick O'Hara. Where is he? Okay. I, I can't shake your hand. <laughs> so, Patrick, I'm here to present on behalf of the Athletics Director um, and the Department the Painting Award for your sportsmanship um, and your service to the department. Yeah. Congratulations to all those award winners. So at this time, I'd ask that all those award winners come on up as a group. We're going to take a picture with our director of athletics right up here in the front. So all those winners that were just featured, come on up. can kneel down, you're not that old yet. Good. Big round of applause for all these award winners. So now we're going to move into the presentations that we have this evening, and I'm going to ask our Director of Athletics, Jermaine Truax, to come back up. He'll be up here throughout, and we'll have the sport administrators for each award come up when they have an athlete that wins. But before I do any of that, I'm going to call on Claire Mency and Taryn Earl to come on up to the front. So Claire and Taryn uh, got an, an email or a text from me, what, two days ago? I waited till the last minute because I didn't want them to get nervous, but I asked them to be our guest presenters today at this banquet. And the reason I did is because I want to recognize the two of them for all that they have done for our senior gift drive here at Bucknell in the athletics realm. They are our team our reps for the men and women here in our athletics department. So a big round of applause for both of them for that. 
Jermaine mentioned it earlier. Um, you guys are about to step out into the real world, and it's going to become your turn to give back. And part of that process has started now already with the Senior Gift Drive. I know you guys are tired of me reaching out to you because I'm trying to get us to 100%. But the Bucknell student athletes have been at 100% for 10 of the last 11 years, and we're well on our way again this year. So a big round of applause to each of you for participating in that drive. I'm going to turn it over to Claire, and Claire is going to start our first award. Hello, everyone. Um, okay. So the first award we will present in person tonight is the John F. Zeller Award. This award is presented for outstanding contributions to Bison Athletics, while exemplifying the best of Bucknell in the manner that John Zeller did in his 68 years of service to the university. The 2022 female winner of the Zeller Award is... Daniela Bellini has been a difference maker for the Bucknell women's tennis team since her first year on campus. After earning the top spot in the Bison singles lineup, she made the All-Patriot League first team after finishing 18-7 and seven overall, including a 5-0 mark in Patriot League regular season dual matches. Over the next two abbreviated seasons, she continued to excel, compiling a 16-8 and eight record on the top court and making the 2021 all Patriot League and all academic teams. She was at her best as a senior captain, continuing to rack up wins at first singles and at first doubles with first year partner Whitney King. As vital as her on court success has been to her team, her leadership in 2021 22 was even more important. As the only senior or junior on the roster, she has been a key mentor to her young teammates and help set the tone for the program as a whole. Off the court, the computer engineering major excelled in the classroom and served as a research assistant in the environmental engineering department and a grader in the mathematics department. She was also a treasurer for the Bucknell Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering and an executive board member for the Biomedical Engineering Society. Daniela Bellini. Come on up, Daniela. Congratulations, Daniela, and now the 2022 male recipient of the Zeller Award. Taryn Earl's commitment to the Buckdale football program was unmatched. Expected to be the Bison's starting quarterback as a senior, he lost his season to an injury suffered in the very first game. While his peers had already recognized him as a leader by voting him as a captain, what Taryn did in the days after suffering this injury cemented his legacy and earned him the C. Dale Wolf Recognition Award as the team's most inspirational player. He remained fully invested in the program, even holding one-on-one -on -one meetings with younger teammates to encourage them and develop them as football players and as men. He personified the team's values of attitude, character and toughness and according to his coaches created the blueprint of what they will look for in future bison for years to come outside of football Taryn was heavily involved on Buckdale's campus he served on the bison athlete of color student-run affinity groups executive board and on the Buckdale athletic leadership institute's roundtable he was the co-chair of the bison athletics senior gift drive and he spoke at freshman orientation <laughs> Taryn also excelled in the classroom, achieving a cumulative GPA north of 3.90 in Buckdale's Freeman College of Management. Taryn Earls. So obviously what you didn't hear in that, 
and you all know probably by now, Taryn Earle will be the student speaker at commencement. So congratulations to Taryn. So I consider this the warm up for uh, graduation right now. And I just want to say usually my dad isn't the one to take the picture, so that surprised me. <laughs> All right, so our next award is the Ray Bucknell Diversity Award, which is presented to the senior student athlete, which through his or her actions has worked to eliminate attitudes and actions that have separated, excluded, or marginalized people in the past and has facilitated true understanding and recognition among multiple campus and Lewisburg community constituencies. The 2022 female winner of the Ray Bucknell Diversity Award is Nicole Rive, a standout infielder for the Bucknell softball program over the last four years, has proven just how powerful the voices and actions of student athletes can be on the university's campus. Last fall, Nicole helped form the Bucknell Athlete Ally Chapter, which aims to create a community where LGBT QIA plus individuals feel supported and connected while working to pursue an inclusive environment in sport. Under Nicole's leadership, Bucknell's first ever Pride Games came to fruition where fans, athletes, coaches, and administrators have been able to display their support for members of the LGBTQIA plus community. The organization also used the opportunity to collect clothing donations to support the Friends House Collective Initiative. Nicole has also spent time serving on the Bucknell Student Athlete Advisory Committee. On the field, Nicole has led the Bison in hits and batting average over the last two seasons and ranks in Bucknell's top 10 for career home runs. She was selected to the preseason All-Patriot League team prior to the current season. Congratulations, Nicole. And now the 2022 male recipient of the Ray Bucknell Diversity Award and one of my best friends. Dominic Lyles' impact extended far beyond the confines of Christy Mathewson Memorial Stadium. Throughout his time as a bison, he was heavily involved in advancing diversity, equity, and inclusion on Bucknell University's campus and beyond. He was the co-founder of the Bison Athletes of Color Student Run Affinity Group, which strives to build a community among student athletes of color. As a SAC representative, he was a member of the Social Responsibility Branch. In addition, he was a member of the Minority Undergraduate Law Society and served as a Black Lives Matter student athlete representative. On the football field, Dom was equally impactful from his freshman year to his season as a senior captain. In 30 career games, 19 of which were starts at wide receiver, he caught 91 passes for 1,149 yards and six touchdowns. The 2021 spring All-Patriot League second team member will graduate with school records in single game receptions and single game touchdown catches. His stellar performance on the field and in the classroom as an international relations major earned him spots on the 2021 Academic All-Patriot League and FCS Academic All-Star teams. Dom aspires to become a lawyer, and he served as an intern investigator for the Public Defender Service for the District of Columbia, and as an extern for the Anne Arundel County Public Law Library. Dom <laughs> So at this time, it's my pleasure to bring up Mike Coleman, and Mike's going to tell us a little bit about a special segment we did for the awards ceremony tonight.
Uh, good evening, everybody. So one of the uh, fun segments we did uh, for this for the senior awards is called Crossing the Herd. So the idea behind this is we get one athlete, maybe a football player, to play soccer or a diver to play football and so forth. Um, so we're going to show you, we filmed six of them. Uh, we're going to show you two of them tonight and the rest will be posted online uh, at a, this, later this week. Uh, first one we're going to show you is actually Andrew Funk playing softball. Like I said, the idea behind this is to get other athletes looking bad in a different sport. And Funk didn't get that memo because he actually killed it, surprisingly. So you'll see his first uh, swing at bat, he actually hit a home run. And I don't move the camera because I'm in shock that he just did that. So without further ado. Welcome back for another segment of Crossing the Herd. Today we're at Becker Field with Nicole and Funk. Nicole's going to make Andrew Funk look like an idiot on the softball field. So for the way you play baseball, um, how are you feeling right now? Uh, expectations and confidence in myself are horrendously low. Uh, I haven't swung a bat since freshman year. Uh, I think I might be okay at the fielding side of things, but other than that, uh, yeah, expectations are down. Will he be good at fielding or not? You know, he hasn't seen the Becker bounce yet, so I said that. I, so I, really I, good at fielding yeah, I don't know. Becker bounce is a different breed. You have to be pretty skilled to get it, so we'll see how he does. <laughs> wow. Next award is the Bison Club Award, which is presented to the senior student athletes which best exemplify the winning spirit of the university's athletics program. The 2022 female winner of the Bison Club Award is... Few Bison athletes carry the number of accolades and achievements that Ashlyn Ramos has piled up during her career with the women's track and field team. 
Ashlyn is the only Bucknell runner ever to qualify individually for the NCAA Cross Country Championships twice in her career. She automatically qualified as the Patriot League champion in the 2021 spring season. And she advanced once again this past fall with a 10th place finish at the Mid-Atlantic Regional. She took sixth in the league championships as a sophomore as well, making it three times that she received first team all Patriot League honors in cross country. Ashlyn has also proven to be one of Bucknell's best track distance runners ever, as she holds numerous spots in the school record books. She set Bucknell's outdoor record in the 10,000 meters as well as the indoor 5K record while ranking second all-time in the outdoor 5K and the indoor 3,000. Last spring, Ashlyn was crowned Patriot League champion in the 10K and received a silver medal in the 5,000. She also scored in two different events during the 2020 Indoor Patriot League Championships and went on to place sixth in the 5,000 later that season at the ECAC Championship meet. Phew. Congratulations, Ashlyn, and now the 2022 male recipient of the Bison Club Award. Andrew Funk was an outstanding guard for the Bison men's basketball team over the last four years, and he saved the best for last with a sensational senior campaign. As the only senior on the roster, Andrew served a key leadership role for a young team both on and off the court. He carried the team on his back at times, recording 13 20-point games and three 30-point games this season, highlighted by an incredible 38-point performance at Illinois State. Andrew was the Patriot League's second-leading scorer at better than 17 points per game, and he broke the school record for most minutes played in a season. He eclipsed the 1,200-point mark for his career and will graduate ranked 21st on Bucknell's all-time scoring list. Andrew also got it done in the classroom. As a finance major, he was the Patriot League Scholar Athlete of the Year in 2022 and became just the ninth player in league history to be named to the academic All-Patriot League team three times. And Now it's time for one of the night's most prestigious awards, the Alvin F. Jackson Jr. Memorial Scholar Athlete Award. This award is presented for outstanding academic and athletic achievement and future promise as Bucknell alumni. The top female scholar athlete among the class of 2022 is... Carly Forker's academic achievements during her time at Bucknell have been nothing short of spectacular, and she's coupled those achievements with record-setting performances on the track to make for a truly outstanding student-athlete career. A rare two-year team captain, Carly has helped lead her teammates through unpredictable and ever-changing circumstances, all the while excelling in the classroom and in her races. Carly possesses a near-perfect 3.95 GPA as a biochemistry and cell biology major and was voted to the Academic All-Patriot League team during the 2021-22 indoor season. She served the campus as a biochemistry research assistant, a student group leader, and a teaching assistant. Carly holds six spots on Bucknell's all-time top 10 performance lists and is the school record holder in the outdoor mile. 
She also ranks second all time in the indoor mile and ran on the second fastest indoor 4x800 relay in school history. In 2019, Carly scored in three different events during the Patriot League Indoor Championships and was the Patriot League runner-up in the 1500 last spring. Congratulations, Carly. And now the top male scholar athlete from the class of 2022 is Zach Hartman redefined what it means to be a Bucknell wrestler. Beyond being a star on the mat who won 96 career bouts, earned two All-America awards, and secured four EIWA podium spots, he also shined in the classroom. As a junior, the biology major became the second Bison wrestler to make a COSIDA academic All-America team, joining Bucknell Athletics Hall of Famer Ed Curran, a 1988 graduate. In 2022, he became the first Bison to make the NWCA All-Academic team and earn an EIWA Academic Achievement Award following all four of his campaigns in Lewisburg. The three-year team captain completed the pre-medicine track at Bucknell with a cumulative grade point average north of 3.90, making the dean's list every semester. Zach will attend medical school beginning in the fall of 2022. It's time for our final award of the night, the Christy Mathewson Award. This award is presented to the outstanding senior athletes. The top female athlete from the class of 2022 is. Maddie Hardigan was a critical piece of the Buckdale women's swimming and diving team's historic success over the past four years and raised the bar for its next generation. The three-time All-Patriot League first team member helped the Bison play second at two Patriot League championships and compile a sterling 30-3 overall record in dual meet competition. Bolstered by winning eight individual medals, she scored 153 and a half career points at the Patriot League championships. Three of those medals were gold in the 2022 and 2019 1650 freestyle and in the 2022 500 freestyle. As a senior captain, Maddie became the first Bison since 2016 to earn two individual gold medals at a single Patriot League championship meet. With 54 and a half points at that event, she finished tied for second among all competitors. Maddie will graduate with school records in four individual events, the 100, 200, 500, and 1,000 freestyle races. She also clocked an additional four program top 10 times. In total, Maddie won a staggering 66 individual races, including 22 as a senior and 
2021 as a sophomore. Over the course of her career, she was also key to Bucknell's relay success. She was a member of four Patriot League medal-winning relay teams and the 2020 ECAC title-winning 400 freestyle relay squad. She was a member of 19 relay teams that cracked the Bison's all-time top 10, three of which set school records. The psychology major also shined in the classroom, making two academic All-Patriot League teams. Congratulations, Maddie, and let's meet the 2022 Male Christy Matthewson Award winner. Sixth NCAA Wrestling All-American, fourth EIWA Champion, first EIWA Wrestler of the Year, second EIWA Coaches Trophy recipient as the EIWA Championships MVP. To say Zach Hartman raised the bar for the Bucknell Wrestling Program would be an understatement. Over the course of his decorated career, he posted a 96-26 record with 20 victories over nationally ranked opponents, 28 pins, 16 major decisions, and 7 technical falls. He went 45-6 in duels, including 28-2 against EIWA opponents. He became the sixth bison to earn a podium spot at four EIWA championships, winning the 2021 165 pound title, finishing as the runner up at 165 in 2020 and at 157 pounds in 2019, and taking third in the 165 pound weight class in 2022. He qualified for the NCAA Wrestling Championships in each of his four campaigns in Lewisburg, placing Placing sixth at 165 pounds in 2021. That season, he became Bucknell's second NCAA semifinalist and secured the program's third highest finish at the NCAA's premier event. As pivotal as his individual success was to his team's performance, his leadership and lifestyle approach to the sport were equally impactful in the wrestling room. Zach served as captain for three seasons, a rare feat in today's collegiate athletic landscape. In addition, he became just the second Bison male to earn both the Christy Matthewson Award, which is presented to the Outstanding Senior Athlete, and the Alvin F. Jackson Jr. Memorial Scholar Athlete Award, which is given for outstanding academic and athletic achievement and future promise as an alumnus. Huge round of applause for all of our award winners tonight. Congratulations to each and every one. Before I close it up, I do believe we have another Crossing the Herd segment. Okay, what are you most nervous about? Um, I don't, I'm 
I've never first off going up a three meter dive before, so I'm a little nervous about that. Also, not a very good diver to begin with, so I don't think I've gone off a jumping or diving board in a couple of years, so we'll see how this goes. Usually, good. Okay, right foot. Right foot. So then, when you. Yeah. So when your left foot goes forward, your arms, so instead of like normal walking normally, your arms like stay together. Okay. It's kind of weird. Um, so left foot forward, arms forward, right foot forward, arms back, there. And then you probably take forward steps. Up. And arms circle, and then you straight back up. MK, but I think John's a pretty soft grader. <laughs> so the crossing the herd segments were a lot of fun to do. I'll give you guys a tease of what's to come. We've got Abby Neff from Women's Lacrosse who hits the golf course with Jason Lowater. That was fun. We've got Alex Clark from Men's Soccer who was taught how to triple jump by Gene McConus. And we have Claire Mency putting on the football helmet and the shoulder pads, becoming a wide receiver under the tutelage of Dom Lyles and Taryn Earl. And finally, we have Marley Walls from women's basketball getting taught how to handle the long pole from Travis Tallarico and men's lacrosse. So watch out for those, so they're coming soon. All right, some, some housekeeping real quick. All right, seniors, before you leave tonight, these are not pizza boxes. These are your framed varsity letters. Please come to the front of the room when we're done. They're in order by team. We'll help you get those so you can take them with you. Also, Jen Cantera and Aline have asked you to fill out some paperwork tonight to get your graduation sash. Once you fill out that sheet, you will get your graduation sash, which you don't want to miss out on. It's a great thing that we started doing a couple years ago to recognize all the hard work you have put in as a uh, scholar athlete here at Bucknell. So make sure you do that. Award winners. And anybody, really. The backdrop back here will be up for pictures after the event. Our photographer will be back there, so please head over and get your pictures taken. To all the student athletes who are still competing, the best of luck to you as you wrap it up this spring. And to everybody else, thank you for all that you have done for Bison Athletics over the years. We know you will do even, do even greater things once you leave the campus here at Bucknell University. Thanks for being here tonight. Go Bison.
Seniors, if you're ready to pick up your sash, it's going to be right outside the terrace room. So grab your letter first and then you can go out and